interactions in Adobe Captivate 8 is full of interactions and games. Let me quickly show you how you can create a memory game using Adobe Captivate 8. In Captivate, go to Interactions and click Learning Interactions. Select Memory Game and click Insert. This will bring up the dialog where you can customize the interaction. Here you can either add an image or text as your primary card. So let's go ahead and add an image. And go ahead and import it and let me select this image. And you can see that as soon as I add this image, you get the same image over here. Usually in a memory game, you'll be matching the same image. But if you have to use a different image, simply click the delete button and you can either match it with an image or add some text. So let me just quickly use the same card and then you can add other images. But you can also use this button to insert multiple images. So just click it and you can go ahead and import multiple images in one go and it will automatically populate it for you. You don't have to do it again and again. In memory game, you can go up to 10 primary cards. You will see how to customize this particular game. So here you can see that you can customize each and every aspect of it. This is the start screen that you will get. You can go ahead and change the color of text for the memory game. You can also set some background here and you can change the color for it. So you can go ahead and change the color to this. So you can use this or if you want to use a plain one, you can go with the plain one. Uh, you can also provide some hint uh, at the start of the screen or you can change the instructions if you want to localize your interaction. You can also change the color for the play button and the text on it. So here it's black now. I can go ahead and change it to maybe pink. Pink doesn't look nice, so let's go ahead and maybe give it a darker shade. You can also click this question mark and see how the instructions will appear. Let's go to the next screen, which is the main game screen. This will show you how the interaction is going to look like. Also, what you can do is you can decide whether you want a border for this card. So you can go with the brown border or you can go with the gray border. Let's go with the brown border. That looks much better. You can also set the score and uh, time color uh, by just changing it. You can set whether you want a vertical one or you want a horizontal one. You can set that. You can set a card base as well. So here you can see that this is blue. It doesn't go well with this blue. So let's go ahead and change it to maybe green or maybe something else. Let's go with pink. Okay. So you have this color. Instead of this base color, you can also go ahead and use an image as a base. So if you want to, if you don't like this style, you can go ahead and add your own image and that will be pink. The other interesting thing is that you can even change the card shape. So you can go with a star. Uh, you can go with a triangle, you can go with a circle and you can go with any shape that you feel like. You can just uh, pick and choose the shape you like based on the uh, style of the images or text you are using. So we will go with this rounded square and let me click OK and this interaction will be added. Let's preview it. So here I am at the instruction screen, I click play now and I get the uh, screen where I have to go and match uh, these images. I hope you like this interaction and you will be using this in your e-learning courses. Thanks for watching this video.